concept is your remainder. Remainder you can say after divisibility. Divisibility is just only checking process. It is divisible or not. Any particular number is a multiple of 5 or not. If it is multiple of 5, it must be divisible by 5. If it is not multiple of 5, it is not divisible by 5. But that point of time, we are not sure if it is not divisible, then what is the value of remainder? That will be challenging. Because just suppose if number is 5, then 5 type of remainder can be possible. If number is 5, if any number is just suppose n divided by 5, you are finding remainder. And total five type of remainder will be possible. If you are dividing by six, total six type of remainder will be possible. Just we'll check the case of five, zero, one, two, three, four. These five possibilities are there for remainder. If remainder is zero, then we can say it is a multiple. If remainder is not zero, means one, two, three, four, anything is there, then we can say it is a not multiple, or it is not divisible. But if it is not divisible, then what is the exact value of remainder? How to get it? Then checking the divisibility, you will not feel much challenge because that will not force you to find the very exact value. It will only just check your remainder is coming zero or not. Only two slab will be there. If it is zero, then divisible. Not zero, not divisible. We are not worried if it is not zero, remainder what is the value. But once if questions asking related to remainder, then just it is an extension of divisibility, then here multiple theorems are there and techniques are there. It will start with basic remainder theorem BRT. Next will be your constant remainder theorem. Next is your CRT. Here CRT is most important because based on that you will able to solve linear equation, you will able to solve AP question, you will able to solve word based question, you will able to solve complex equation question, multiple application or it will be helpful for your PNC multiple application. It will be helpful for your integral solutions all you can sell the part. Multiple time you will find it will be huge. It is giving one sense of thinking then most careful for application of CRT and try to go in depth of CRT. How much you can go one separate session is there. Once you are uh, you have taken the premium course then one separate session is there for CRT. I have given much emphasis for CRT because it is going to affect your multiple chapter in your quant and it is going to affect your DI also. Many of the times we will find it is much much helpful if you are good in CRT. Many times it is a your uh, you can say if you are good in CRT one of the weapon will increase in your common sense arsenal. It will increase one of the weapon you will get. This is your reserve weapon. Multiple way you will able to apply. Next is your format theorem and uh, reverse of format theorem last two digit last three digit then binomial theorem multinomial theorem pattern method these all six seven methods are there that will be useful for your remainder but which method we have to apply or which theorem we have to apply which technique we have to apply that will depend totally on the representation of questions all the theorems cannot be applied for same questions and same th theorem cannot be applied for different type of questions it will totally depends on representation of questions, which type of theorem or which technique you have to apply. Next will come after remainders, your major challenge will be related to factors. Prime factorization looks like easy, but factors, number of factors, odd number of factors, odd factors, reverse of factors, sum of factors, product of factors, it will give us lot of sense to make algebra questions then you will find plenty of algebra related questions or you can say variable based questions variable based question that looks like algebra but finally if you are good in factors you will be able to solve i will show you today only no need to worry today only i will show you many of the question you can't imagine based on the factors we will be able to solve what we will be able to solve and that is cat question and you can't say it is a easy question or sitters question moderate question or moderate to tough question or tough questions designated by all top institute not i am giving a stamp then prime factorization you must know in multiple way how to do sum of factors after then product of factors reverse of factors here only many times confusion will happen many of the times we will not able to understand the logic like uh, basically it is a selection from similar thing 
I am just connecting with algebra and PNC due to I am always telling numbers and PNC and algebra you must go together in one, one slab of preparation then only you will get your you can say very fundamental preparation very strong nobody will able to shake you then selection from similar thing like uh, once we are selecting each and every or zero or more then n thing you will able to select in n plus one way and we know in prime factorization if you are writing 2 square into 3 to the power 5 then number of factors will equal to 3 into 6 one we are increasing whatever we have the powers one we will increase then total factor will be equal to 18 now just suppose total factor is 18 if you are going reverse way if you are going in reverse way then what will be there first thing you have to write 3 into 6 and this 3 into 6 this can be written 1 into 18 also but 1 into 1 into 18 will not valid because minimum power will be available it will be your 1 then once you are taking in the form of factors power will become 1 plus 1 2 then we can take 2 into 9 now just suppose if you are coming from factors to the total means right left to right like from this to this then you know 18 means only 2 square into 3 to the power 5 the total factors are 18 but this same thing if i am writing in different way i have just hided this one and and i am telling if any number is having 18 factors then what will happen it is not necessary only this is option you will get multiple option this only giving the you can say possibility of making question difficult or possibility of making question more probabilistic in nature means if you miss any of the possible solutions you will miss the correct answer yet 3 into 6 also we can write 2 into 9 also we can write any other way we can write 6 it is same only only two way we can write 1 into 18 that is that is one of the way that also we can understand one meaning is it is uh, nothing is there means this number representation we can say a to the power 17 this number representation we can say a square into b to the power 5 where a and b are prime numbers here we can say a into b to the power 8 total three possibility we got if we are telling factors are 18 then you are must careful and many of the times we will do mistake if reverse of factor will ask and many of the times we will get confused odd factors and odd number of factors and based on the odd number of factors it is you can say multiple time it will be used 